Hey guys, welcome back to the Gamers Hall. I'm Chris, and today I'm going to tell you about 1D&D's Heroic Inspiration. Let's get into it. Alright, so Heroic Inspiration is basically, whenever you roll a 1 on any D20 test, you get an inspiration. Some of the rules around this is the fact that it has to be a natural 1. It can't be a re-roll, and it can't be... You can't get it if you discarded the one. So if you rolled a one and then you discarded it for a re-roll, then you don't get it. It has to be something you got and you, you were stuck with. Now, you get that inspiration. You can use it for a later D20 test and give yourself advantage on that roll. And you can use it after you've rolled the dice. You don't have to use it before, like in normal D&D. 5e. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Um, like, why is it that Wizards of the Coast and the the designers at D and D? Why is it you keep giving players so much? Like, I get it. You want to tell epic stories. You want them to be the heroes. Uh, but. Actions also need consequences, and not everyone who fails is going to get inspired to to do better. Some people fail, and guess what? They just keep failing because they've already messed up, and now they're psychologically messed up that so that they actually just keep messing up. So that's one of the reasons I don't like this. It's also just the sheer fact that why are you getting inspiration for failing? I, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's needed. The players don't need any more. They're already powerful enough and steamrolling and going through majority of whatever DMs throw at you. DMs have a hard enough time balancing encounters and doing things for the players to get them to stay playing. If you give everything to the players... You're making it harder on the Dungeon Masters. And when you make it harder on the Dungeon Masters, nobody wants to run the game. If nobody's running the game, being the DM, nobody's playing Dungeons and Dragons. And I think giving players a inspiration for rolling a nat 1, it's... I don't think it's going to help. I mean, sure, it's a bonus for the players, but... It's also kind of a down for the for the DM. Like I get it, the DM's supposed to be the narrator. He's supposed to just be helping guide the players through this story, but they also are the ones that take the time to make these stories, to build these encounters, to they do the world building and all this other stuff. And sometimes it's fun to see where the game goes when you fail and keep failing. Like, sometimes those are the best parts of the story. When you fail so hard, well, how do you rise back up from that? And not because, like, oh, I failed, so I just get an inspiration. I can get an advantage on the next thing I want. Like, I just, I, to me, that's not good storytelling. That's just giving players a boost because, oh, yeah, it sucks to roll ones, but Guess what? It's also fun to roll once because it's fun to see where that takes the story. Those are my opinions. If you guys don't agree with me, please put it down in the comments. I'd love to see uh, why you guys disagree with me or, you know, do you think this is, is actually good? Why? I'd like to know. Uh, but hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, guys, keep having fun at your gaming tables and keep rolling them nat ones.